Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, what I'll be showing you guys is how you can see and check your car not purchase power, what that purchase power is and how you can increase it. So let's get right into it without any further ado. And as you can see, I am using the official Karna article for this, so make sure to check it out if you have any other questions. But this tutorial should be quite sufficient for you. And the reason I'm using this, of course, is because I do not have access to Karna, so I do need to use this article for this tutorial. But it is very easy to follow, as you can see. So let's get started with step one. Or first, let me explain what a Karna purchase power is. Uh, the Karna purchase power is basically how much you are allowed to spend uh, once you get a Klarna card and how much you are able to buy and purchase with uh, an outstanding fund uh, or to pay later. Uh, now, uh, you can see it by logging into the app and then navigating to purchase power, which is very easy to do. And then just follow the prompts to check the estimated amount. You will never see a 100% accurate amount for this. You will only see the estimate. So make sure that you have that in mind. And if you're using the shopping extension on your browser, you can see it uh, on the one-time card as well. Now, to increase your purchase power, what you need to do is have a good payment history, uh, always pay on time and don't increase your outstanding debts. And pretty much that's all you have to do. And then your purchase power increases over time. Uh, just make payments on your outstanding purchases and make sure you pay everything in full uh, and on time. And that is all you have to do. Uh, make sure that the customer service can't accept requests for spending limit increases. So that is another thing. Your purchase power can't hit zero if you have too many outstanding purchases, which you haven't paid. And your purchase power might not be available if you have overdue or failed payments. And that is all you have to do. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time.